As students in Escambia County, Florida go back to school, parents will notice some safety changes. This is the first year every school in the district will have an armed safety officer. Many are retired military and police personnel. As News 5's Bryant Clerkley reports, that's not the only change within the district this year. Uh, mommy gets her sanity back. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I'm really excited for them to go back in school. We've got a fifth grader. We, I have a brand new sixth grader over there. So today is going to be fun and a second grader. And As the buses rolled in to drop students off at their first day of school inside the Escambia County School District, administrators were on site making sure everything was running smoothly. Superintendent Malcolm Thomas says there are a lot of new changes this year. West Florida High School has now moved from their uh, old Longley drive location to Burgess Road so they're starting today in a new place success Academy was previously located in Warrington it's now on the Longleaf Drive location officials want to also remind drivers to be extra cautious of the students and the school buses the district has done studies in the past that show just how many people do not stop for school buses that we average almost one stop arm violation per bus on the road on that day that's a that's a very scary statistic so I implore the community that when you see that stop arm come out on that bus make sure you stop now most schools are back in session now after summer break Baldwin County students however return Wednesday you can find everything you need to know about sending your kids back to school on WKRG.com when you click news then back to school